Okay then, so, so, welcome to a new series which I call Extreme Playthroughs, where basically I'm going to be playing games on their hardest settings because, yeah, I'm just going to be talking about how to get through games like this, what's going on in the game, and just other crap basically. So, today I'm going to start off with Wolfenstein The New Order. Although I will admit I've played this game before. See, I've got to reset all my perks and upgrades, but there you go. I figured, may as well show you guys what it's like. Get psyched. I actually missed that the first time, but it was just a nice very mistake. I hear children. I thought I'd put the subtitles on because I'm probably going to be talking quite a lot someone. through these cinematics, but I think I see someone. In case you guys haven't actually seen the game, I thought I'd put subtitles on. If you can, Not they're actually different. really small subtitles, but yeah, the story is actually really good. I think. Among warriors, we come from the night. I'm going to try and be quiet through these, but there you go. What a nice scene. So good. You know, this is one thing that I find a bit odd, is the fact that even though I've set the subtitles onto all subtitles, because you can set it onto either subtitles for everything, or foreign subtitles only, even if you put the subtitles on foreign only, it still gives the Scottish guy subtitles, which I just... Like, I'm not even Scottish, I find that thing. Oh jeez. Fire everywhere. Gonna put it down. I haven't even shot anyone and I've lost health. Oh god. Alright. Gotta get these jeeps out to the sea. Ah yes. Awesome for you. Go through here. Body armor. Setting you up for what's to come because shit's gonna get real. So, oh god. I forgot that. I'm sure, I've played it before, but it's not like I remember everything. I haven't played this for quite a while now. Although, I do remember this. First combat. Gotta kill the Jerrys in their sweet jets. The only thing I struggled with the first time I played through because you can't actually change the controls on it. So I usually play like FPSs with classic COD controls. So it's like L1 to aim, R1 to shoot, and all that, like you had on the old consoles before they decided on PS4, for instance, to change it to L2 to aim and R2 to shoot, so that it was all like Xbox sort of thing, which I didn't really like. I didn't have to die in this. I died the first time I played through and it was really embarrassing. Oh god, there's no glass now. This is getting pretty rough. Oh, I've still got a bit left. Oh wait, no. Wait, what? Oh, oh okay. Death at the gates again. Okay, we're back. So, what you didn't see is like I got just I just got blown away from the cockpit like should normally happen and then this was supposed to happen but it didn't so I had to restart from before I shot all those planes and do all that bit again but it doesn't matter now because we're moving on that's one thing I do like about this is the addition of health kits I mean sure like your health regenerates to a certain point like it regenerates to, like sort of 20 ish intervals so like because I know they wanted to make this like really sort of feel quite retro so I think the addition of health packs really makes it it just gives that sort of feel and I really like it oh god okay wait what okay we're giving chase now I must say that is a big ass plane so like none of these guys they're all like little babby planes whereas I mean sure that's a troop transport but still it's pretty huge Is not how to start a day. Oh, thank God you're here! Oh, God. Get up, man. This is war. Come on. 
Snap out of it, man. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. This does not look good. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't really continue to fly a plane if I can't actually see where I'm going. I don't know. It's the break of dawn. July 16, 1946. Everything has gone to shit. How awesome. The machine is advancing at an astonishing rate. And we can't catch up. Our tactics are failing. How classed and Oh, good. dude, that's just not cool. That's why? People are getting desperate. Not me. Hans classic. Here to see an old friend and settle a score. Turn this thing around. Anyone hear me? Oh shit. Fergus, what's your status? Ah, blast court. We've got a scattered in bad ways over here. Trapped inside an. Yeah, you're right. We do. Some kind of armored hellbeast is trying to fucking eat us. No joke. The same problem here. Shacked up inside dead wreckage. Is that you over there? Hey, Private Wyatt, flash your lights. Uh, Blasco, can you see the light? Wyatt, turn off the light, turn it off! Yes, sir! God, I'd be shitting myself for that. Then. What can I do for you? We can't get to it from out position. Utterly fucking trapped in here. But if you can access a cockpit turret on this here aircraft, you might be able to kill the beast. Regular small arm sure don't work for bug at all. Yeah, perhaps you can swim here. Just keep your head down below the surface. You should be all right. Good plan, Fergus. Coming to you. Um, oh, oh, Jesus. Beast built by Death's head. Should have killed that man long ago. One thing I'm not really too keen on. I mean, I know Blaskowitz is supposed to be like a Nazi killing badass, but if you're gonna like say stuff to the gamer, you could at least make it slightly audible because I couldn't actually hear most of what he was saying the first time I played through this, and I had to put the subtitles on because I just thought I missed too much. Alright. Time to take you down. Okay, there's another one. Well, that was... That was surprisingly easy, actually. Alright, listen up. There's a high-powered machine gun nest in those trenches over there. Which is always uh, good. The unit without being slaughtered. So, I want you to make your way over into those trenches and take the nest out. Just run as fast as you possibly bloody can, straight up the middle. We'll lay down cover fire from here. Got it. Ah, I'll put this on. I'll radio updates from our position. Right, lads, you ready to lay down suppressor fire? Here we go. Now, the gameplay can officially begin. Guns and all. And all, and all these explosions. Always a good start to the game, just riddle of explosions. In my opinion, anyway. Explosions are always cool. Um, I've actually turned tutorials off. I forgot I turned the tutorials off. I don't know. I've forgotten the controls. It. I must say, there's nothing quite as satisfying in all of gaming than just blowing Nazis up. Oh, okay. Stop going down. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Forget it. Okay, so I've just had to turn the tutorials back on because I don't actually remember the controls. Not very well, anyway. Like how to change it. There we go. Not always the best idea to rush an enemy on the hardest setting, but, you know. I mean, if you can, save yourself bullets, am I right? Anyway, it's the first level. There's enough health around here to keep you going. Now, admittedly, it is a bit hard to actually get the sort of strategy that I want right now, at the moment, because normally my strategy would be sort of, okay then. But normally, when, when I am playing games on the hardest settings, such as this, if I can, I often go for the stealthy approach, because, if you can stealth an enemy, then it will give you a huge advantage. Plus, it I mean, it works for pretty much anything, like survival horror. You can save your bullets by stealthing enemies. One thing that I really like that you can do in this, which makes it feel really retro in my opinion, is you can have one gun, like this, sure, and it just feels like any other shooter. But then if you press up, you get two guns. You can just do this. 
which admittedly isn't the best thing to do on... Oh, yeah, see, there you go. Not the best thing to do when you're playing on Uber, but still pretty fun. I must admit, I, I don't even think that using dual weapons is going to have much place in Uber setting because it's just too reckless. And you don't want to be reckless when you're playing... Oh, my God! Yeah, you don't... As I was saying, you don't want to be too reckless when you're playing games on the hardest setting because if you do take a little bit less care than normal, the game will just punish you. It's basically Dark Souls. So you just got to take things a bit slowly, which I'm actually finding quite hard to do at the moment, but yeah, you got to persevere. Take your time, a little bit of patience can never go wrong. There we go. Take down. Bam. Now that's one thing that I really enjoy in this game is the perk system. Because depending on your playstyle, it will reward you with certain perks that complement that playstyle. So for instance, okay. There we go. Stealthing always works. Most of the time. Now this here is when stealthing can come in real handy. Because if you can get through all of these guys without raising the alarm, then it will save you loads of health for later on. But you know, stealthing takes a long time, so I'm just gonna kill all of them with the power of editing. Bam, you're dead. Bam, you're also dead. In the face. Boom. Now that I've killed all those guys, I can kill the last guy with this new perk I've got. Knife throwing. And I fucking missed. Wow, that was anticlimactic. Now they're all dead. I lost no health, used no bullets, and it's just a far more efficient strategy. Might not be entertaining, I don't know, but it's good to show people how to do well in these games. Because I'm just that sort of guy. Okay, another signal. Which means there's another commander around here somewhere. Here's my knife. Let's see what we've got here. Guy there. I think there's another guy somewhere around here. Okay, that guy's there. He's there. He's probably going to see me if I try and kill one of them. Yeah, they're both facing each other. This is not good. That guy's looking right at me. Is he? Yeah, he's looking right at me. This is going to be hard. I'll try and do this with minimal collateral damage, but... Oh, too late. I've been spotted. Remember, kids, cover is your best friend. Especially sandbags. Sandbags are always good. And now, this... Oh, God. This guy's not going to let up, is he? There we go. Turn him into a nice Nazi pate. Another thing you want to try and do if you're going to be playing games like this is never really... Never try and fire fully automatic unless your enemy is particularly large because you want to save ammo. I mean, sure, if you're playing on, like, the normal settings, then you can throw away your ammo a bit more easily. But you want to... in On harder difficulties, you want to save your ammo when you really need it. Wait before I play myself up. Oh, okay then. Clearly, I was too close. Because not only does going this way give you a stealthier and more subtle approach, but you can find this. Now your handgun has a silencer. I do like the eye animations that it does sometimes with guns. It's just reminding you that it's not all just, yeah, guy holding your gun. I just feel it helps to connect more that your guy's just fiddling around with his gun. Whenever, really. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, God. Okay. He's there. The guy coming towards him. Think about this sort of thing. Is he turning around? Oh, 
Oh, he can't see me anyway. Let's get this guy. No hassle whatsoever. And now he's... Okay, okay, that was weird. Going nuts. Oh, God, he's coming back. I don't have to probably cut so much of this out, but there you go. Alright, he's turning around. Shabams! As long as I take the commander out, then I should be safe. And he's pretty close. In fact, if I remember correctly, he should be around this corner here. There's a guy there. Shit. There we go. And now, I'm safe. Oh, okay. I do know how to get through this door. There's a way over here. Through this little vent. And there you go. Secret room. Another little retro gaming aspect that I really like about this. Secret rooms are always good. Wow, I hardly need to pick up ammo at all because... I'm just stealthing everyone. Is there no one in here? Yeah, I'm just maxed out all the time. I mean, I'm not even picking these health packs up for any real reason, because I don't need them. Although, having said that, if you can get... Because when your health bar at the bottom there turns yellow, it means it's overcharged. So you've got, like, temporarily increased health. And if you can overcharge your health to 200, then you do get a perk for it. So it's not like overcharging your health is going to be a waste of health packs. Take things nice and slow. No need to rush. If you can, aim for headshots. Because that will save you even more ammo. God, so fun. I mean, sure, Nazi Zombies was my first experience of just killing Nazis and feeling the sheer joy of it. But... I mean, when I played Nazi Zombies, I must have been, what, I think I was 13? I don't know. And even then, first time you played Nazi Zombies, you know it's pretty scary. I mean, now, obviously, we know it's not. But, oh, this guy's going for it. Did I get him? Come on. Come on. Shoot faster. Oh, oh no. Oh, Jesus. Get out. I it was me, lad. Oh god. Get out of here. Um oh, okay. Now then. Secret switches. I don't actually um oh god. I don't remember which ones you have to do. Maybe there's a combination around here? Is there? Anywhere? One, two, three. Okay. So, no. One, three, two even. One, three, two. Yeah. More bullets, which I don't need. Excellent. Oh, okay. Guy's coming up. Let's try and... Oh, no. No, just completely unavoidable. Oh, God, these guys are... Too close, too close. I don't have a shotgun yet, so I don't like being this close to them. Oh, I'm gonna die again. <laughs> oh. oh, okay, I just got flanked. Just like I said, unlock perks to improve your preferred combat style. So for me, I personally prefer to just stealth as many guys as I can. So I'll get a lot of stealth perks, which will make me even stealthier. But if you play this and you happen to be more like gung-ho sort of guy, then you'll get a lot of perks for um, like dual wield and more bullets and whatever. I know I said cover is your best friend, but I just want to kill these guys. So let's get this out of the way. Last guy, I think. There we go. Pretty close now. Wow, such accuracy. 
Alright, I know he's there. Okay, that probably will kill me. One, there's a guy over there. And two, there's a guy on that MG. Well, he's dead. Um, he's got there. These guys just don't give up. Alright, he's there. There you go. Don't use any more bullets than you need to. And if you don't need to use bullets, then don't. Because then you can just do this. Easy peasy. Damn fine work. Boom! I do like doing that. Okay. We've got guys here. Can I hit them? Yeah. Boom. Chunks everywhere. Okay, last door. Oh my god. I, oh, wait, no. Come on. Get off my leg. Oh, the comedy is just too right. Yeah, he's a good kid. Alright, exit level. I think I'll stop there.